So it's no secret that Grand Theft Auto V has a ton of references to past Grand Theft Auto games and the GTA series in general. There are Easter eggs for Vice City, Grand Theft Auto IV, protagonists from previous games scattered all over the world, all over Los Santos, all over Blaine County. But what if there are references to the next Grand Theft Auto game? I've always wanted to know if Rockstar had ever considered putting in hints towards the next game and the future in GTA 5 because we've actually seen them do that in the past, kind of, and I think that that's been really, really funny. We're going to be taking a look at a crazy example today if Rockstar has actually hidden or at least hinted at the release date of the next Grand Theft Auto in GTA 5. So a couple days ago on Twitter, I said that I had stumbled across a pretty cool video of someone finding a neat little Easter egg. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. And many of you guys said, yes, you are very much interested in checking this out. So let's look at this right now. If you want to find the Easter egg that I'm talking about today, you need to go to Los Santos International Airport. Now at this terminal, if you kind of go underneath this like little walkway, you'll see like a bunch of different little areas where you can go from like one side of the airport to another. I don't really know how to describe this, but under each one of those are going to be sets of doors. Now on these sets of doors are three numbers. There's three sets of numbers. One of them is 2013. So I thought that that was pretty interesting. And obviously we all know that Grand Theft Auto V came out on September 17th, 2013. Now another one of those doors reads 2014. We know that the next generation version, uh, PS4 and Xbox One, came out in the year 2014. And then there is another door for 2021. So you might be asking yourself, what's special about the year 2021? Well, we don't quite know yet, but it is very interesting that there's only three numbers on these doors and they don't seem to go in any you know, numerical order, nor do they really make sense because a lot of the numbers on the doors overlap. Like for example, there's two doors right next to each other that read the year 2021 and 2013. Imagine how confusing that would be if you walked into a building and every single door had the exact same number on it. That would be incredibly confusing. So I don't know what the purpose of this is exactly, but going back to the year 2021, what could this possibly be? Now, if we really wanna dive deep here, what it could possibly be is the release year of the next Grand Theft Auto game. Now, that is a stretch, but it is fun to kind of theorize and look at this. So let's kind of break it down. Number one, does it match up with what Rockstar currently has planned? Well, it's looking more and more like that might actually be the case because as we all know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is slated for fall of 2017. So what makes that very, very interesting is that is going to be coming out nearly four years after Grand Theft Auto V. And if that 2021 means anything, that would mean that four years after Red Dead Redemption 2, we would see the next GTA game. That also kind of makes sense just in general. Obviously, Rockstar is still supporting the game right now with Grand Theft Auto Online updates, but eventually they're going to rest Grand Theft Auto Online. In fact, Take-Two Interactive CEO uh, Strauss Zelnick came out and said that eventually... Grand Theft Auto Online will have to be rested and that updates will eventually stop, meaning that sometime down the line, a new GTA game obviously will have to be made and have to be created and obviously released to the world. And that time is certainly looking more around the lines of 2020 and even now possibly 2021 with the announcement of Red Dead Redemption 2 coming in 2017. And that's pending no delays or no anything like that. We obviously know Rockstar is very, very prone to doing stuff like delaying the game or pushing it back a little bit. And what I really think this indicates is gone are the days of a new Rockstar game every year. And gone are the days of these Grand Theft Auto games releasing so soon together. Now, we know there was a big gap between Grand Theft Auto 4 and Grand Theft Auto 5. It was over five years between those games, and it doesn't look like the pattern is going to keep up with 5 and the next Grand Theft Auto game, because uh, obviously we know the next Rockstar game is going to be Red Dead Redemption 2. And in order for us to you know stay within that five-year pattern, the game would have to come out in 2018, which is not looking very likely at all. 
But what is looking more likely is that timeline of anywhere from 2020 to 2021, which seems like an eternity from now. But we can, you consider the grand scale and you know the size of these Grand Theft Auto games, you know it really doesn't shock us that it could be that long till we see the next one. Now, let's talk about Rockstar actually doing this in previous games before I kind of talk about the validity of this. So the first time we've kind of seen something like this was in Grand Theft Auto 3, where there was actually a billboard on one of the uh, airport signs that said, we'll see you in Miami or something along those lines. And you guys know the game after uh, GTA 3 was Vice City, which is placed in fictional Miami. Now, we also kind of saw the same thing in Grand Theft Auto 4. There are signs on the airport that obviously point us to Los Santos that say, buy a Fly US ticket, head to Los Santos, only $2.99. And there was also a reference of Los Santos in the fun fair or the carnival where you can actually see like a backdrop and what kind of looks like they're almost mimicking the first intro trailer to GTA 5 identically with that plane coming in. So I thought that that was really cool. You can obviously see that's downtown Los Santos right there so those are just a couple hints of rockstar doing that in previous games and i wonder if they've done something similar like that in grand theft auto 5 now you could easily point to this and say oh those are just coincidences you know rockstar was just you know pointing at other previous games they don't look like they're anything towards the future but I think Rockstar is smarter than that. I think that they have a general idea of where the next Grand Theft Auto game is going to be. I mean, heck, when Grand Theft Auto V was coming out and when they were probably building it, I'm sure they have a pretty good idea of the next location where it's going to be because as we know, that is the first thing that Rockstar has to do. They have to decide on a location first before they build anything else, before they start making the missions or designing the characters or fleshing out other ideas, location has to be decided on first. So it's likely that they know where the next GTA game is even before the one before it is coming out. So yeah, it could be a hint at where the next game was gonna be taking place in Grand Theft Auto 4, Los Santos, and GTA 3, Vice City, so on and so on. Now let's get back to this Easter egg at hand here. Is there a possibility that the next Grand Theft Auto game is gonna be coming out in 2021? Absolutely, it seems like a good guess. Uh, it seems like it's within the reasonable timeline, and that's probably around the likely year in which we'll see something like that. But does that mean that this Easter egg was put here on purpose or is predicting the future? My guess is going to be no. Obviously, when Rockstar was developing this game, there were probably a lot of things that were still unclear for them, like the success of Grand Theft Auto Online, when they were going to be releasing Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm guessing they knew about that at that time. So there was probably a lot of unknowns here. And although it's very strange that there are these only three numbers on these doors, like I said, I don't think it actually leads to anything that is like groundbreaking and that is going to be demonstrating that something is going to be coming out. Now, what it does lead to is obviously a lot of fun. It's fun to roll with uh, theories like this. Obviously, there are a ton of amazing mysteries in Grand Theft Auto V, like the Chiliad mystery, everything surrounding Bigfoot and, uh, you know, all the mysteries in the world of Los Santos and Blaine County. And it's gotten me to think about even more what Rockstar could possibly be hiding in the world of Grand Theft Auto V, as far as the location, the release date, the timeline of the next GTA game. We know Rockstar is very sneaky and tricky like that. Probably the thing that would strike me as the most profounding thing here, if it was a 2021 release date, is the amount of time from Grand Theft Auto V's release, 2013 all the way to 2021. That would be eight years. I mean, when Grand Theft Auto V came out, I was just 18 years old, 18 or 19 years old. If this is to be the case, if it does come out in 2021, I'm going to be 26. I mean, that's insane. That makes me feel like an old man just knowing that, oh my gosh, it's that long away, or at least could possibly be that long away. So as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below. What do you think of this theory? Do you think that Rockstar in GTA 5 somewhere has either a hint or a clue at the location or the release date of the next Grand Theft Auto game? I think they sneakily do because we've seen them add Easter eggs in the game without publicly announcing it. Do you guys remember the Beast versus Bigfoot Easter egg. Rockstar added that Easter egg in the game with 
free mode events update, yet they never told anyone and they never publicly announced it. So this is something we've seen before from them where they will add something to the game and they won't announce it. And I guess it's just up to us to find it. So deep down in my heart, I do believe that it's hidden somewhere in the game. It might not just be as obvious as a sign on a door, but I think this has led to a bigger and more open conversation to trying to look for something like this. And I would encourage you guys as well, if you ever find something interesting, mysterious, or suspicious in Grand Theft Auto V, be sure to let me know. And it, who knows, it might lead up to something really cool. So as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below on what you think about this. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. I'm not going to be live streaming later today. We streamed for like five and a half, six hours yesterday, so I'm taking a little bit of a break. But I will be back tomorrow as well as a couple other cool videos for you guys on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you have a great rest of the day. But of course, without the way, like I said, thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next video.